Good evening and welcome to the 2016 Jail Pro Variety Show. Uh, the uh, performance for you tonight, I'd like to introduce you to one of my MC partners, Brianna Haslow. And I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Emily Belfer. Yeah, Mr. Jones made me dance the Macarena in front of my whole biology class. Unbelievable. He had me recite Green Eggs and Ham in front of my whole English class. And our third MC, well, you'll see his audition now with Mr. Jones, Mr. Whitley, and Ms. LaFont. Hey, Mr. Jones. Uh, I'd love to be the variety show host this year. You think I could have been? Well, just then, we're going to need to know that you're prepared for the unexpected. Um, you know how this show gets a little stressful and crazy? Yeah, I am. We already know that you're musically inclined, so we'd like you to prepare a song for us on the spot. Did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Montreal. Well, now we'd like to welcome on the stage Brandon Murray performing a dance team you will not believe. Hi. Hi. 
thanks for joining us, Natalie. Thanks for having me. I sometimes I really like to chill out. It was nice to chill out. Thank you. Well, my name is Natalie. I'm 13 years old. <laughs> I like to eat apricots. And I have a band aid collection. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what do you like to do for fun? Well, I like to make popsicle stick towers, popsicle stick houses, sometimes. watch TV, especially since Miley Cyrus twerked. <laughs> oh well, that's too bad, because I bet you like Pretty Little Lies. You like it? You really, 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 really like it? I can't even like, explain how much you like it. It's a great show. Wow. Anyway, it's time for show and tell, so what did you bring us today? Oh, this is a design that I made. I'm very creative. It's called a pegacorn. It's part pegasus and part unicorn, and I'm really creative.
job, Tristan. I guess you can do more than just sing about broccoli. <laughs> up next, we have a group of four amazing girls called Mixing It Up. Please welcome to the stage the four girls themselves, Regan, Kaya, Haley, and Haley.
I mean, you can stretch to the back, you can get food and water. Don't bring your food in, especially you. We saw you bring food last year, just water. Also, there's going to be the Gozak Gallery, Vizak Gallery, in the basement that features some artwork from pro students, so check that out during the division. Okay. questions for us in the math department? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I, I can come up right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay. <laughs> the math department owes me some money. I gotta buy things like protractors, calculators, and these things. I don't even know what those things are. Who did you give me all that money? I gave you? Well, I gave him all the money. He gave me $28. That's right. I gave you more than $28. No, you gave me $13 for each class. That, that's, that's right. Yeah, and, and there's seven classes. That's right too. Yeah, so I gave you $28. You didn't get the money. I did not get the money I gave. Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Tell me again. Seven times seven, seven classes, $13 a class, seven times 13 is $28. Okay, so I gave you $20. Don't, 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 don't say <laughs> You need to prove that. I'll prove it. Let's divide. 28 divided by 7. Okay. 7 doesn't go into 2. Okay, but hold it, but hold it. You're telling me that 7 is going to go into 28 13 times. Yes. Okay. 7 goes into 28 13 times. Yes, I 7 times 13 dollars. Okay. 28 dollars. 7 doesn't go into 2. That 2 is too small. No matter how hard you try, that makes 7. We'll go into that little yeah, itty bitty tiny I get it. I get it. Yeah, I agree. So we're just gonna put that little itty bitty tiny two down here. So we don't forget. Alright. Okay? Little tiny two. Okay. Okay? Now seven goes in eight. Yes, it does. Seven goes in eight. How many times? Uh once. One time. Now that seven gets pretty big, it's getting pretty heavy. So we're gonna carry that seven down here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And now we're gonna take away the seven from the eight. Seven take away eight is one. It's one. Okay, so far so good. Now remember those little two here that I brought from the middle of that little two down there? Little two down there. We're going to get a down there. And seven goes in 21, three times, seven and 28, 13. I mean, you have to do that for me. I gave you 28 dollars. You are what I call a cheat. Now you tell your girl that, that I gave you money. He gave me 28 dollars. Okay, okay, let's calm down here. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, let's see. Put, put down 13 again. Okay, and seven. Yeah. Because it's seven. Seven classes, 13. Okay, and now draw a line. Okay, now you're going to tell me that 13 times 7 is 28. 28? Yes, 28. Okay, I'll I'll 28 get along with this. Okay, go ahead. 7 <laughs> times 3 21. is 21. Yeah, I, I 7 times 1 that's 7. 7. 21 plus 7, that's 28. Oh, you're not going to be I paid you every nickel you had coming. Okay, calm down, calm down. Let's, let's add it up. Let's add it up this time. We gotta get to the bottom of this. This is our last chance. Okay, let's put 13 up there seven times. One, three, four, six, five, seven. Okay, now let's add it up. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Well, that's the that's the math.
I mean, those eight are really good actors. <laughs>
Well, like I said, what's her name in our fact? <laughs>
Donna. I don't know what to do about Eric. I mean, he's acting like this possessive macho jerk. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Donna. Come on, Jackie. I liked him because he wasn't like that. Mrs. Pensiotti, can you please tell Donna that I'm right? Isn't it cool when men act like they own you? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
That was something to plan full time. Yeah, well, they're just writing off the inventory. That's all your own. My dad is depending on that job. Yeah, well, I guess you should have thought of that. Like my dad. Oh, okay. Oh.
Wow, that was just beautiful. Let's hear it again for me. Oh, 
picture perfect blue, sun bathing on the moon, stars shining as your bones a loop First kiss just like a drug under your influence, take me over, you're the magic in my things. This must be love. Boom, And now, last, 
but not least, please give a warm welcome to the one and only, Stylin', Mr. Justin True Crow. <laughs> For being just in time. Tonight, we're also being joined by four reporters who have prepared questions that they would like these politicians to answer. Let's get started. <coughs> Kim Chan Un, if you were principal, how would you treat the students of Crow differently? You go leave my no being go sound go join go sing. She said, if I were principal, I would put every student into my labor camps to work for the greater good. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and uh, Mr. Mr. Chukro, <laughs> what, what would you do differently? If I were principal, there would be no more homework. <laughs> the Crow Charter of Rights and Freedom clearly states that it strives to enhance the lives of students. And homework is just not a life-enhancing act. You would be a great principal. Mr. Henry, Spanish president, what would you add to the school? I would add an increased green card program for an immigrating seventh grader. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Chukro, what would you add? Well, an epidemic is going on in our school district right now. Our fellow middle of the class RSS students are being invaded by elementary schools. Because the Crow is such a great place to learn, I would like to invite these RSS refugees, all 10,000 of them, to join us in the middle of our classes at the Crow. This question is for all politicians. The J.L. Crow Times would like to know, what advice would you like to pass on to the next generation? Good grades may be important, but it's all about that nice hair, though. <laughs> you can do anything with a small loan of one million dollars. You can sell a day to you, you show it again. So how you say, Joe Tom. Obey your supreme leader, and you may be able to survive long enough to graduate. <laughs> If you run fast and jump high, you can live a life without partners. <laughs> Hello, my question is for Kim Tan Un. What is your vision for the future of Crow?
was interesting. Now I'd like to call Celia Friesen to the stage to do an interpretive dance.
else is here to do. Well, everybody, it's time to stall again. So, I think, since nothing's really coming to me, I'll just shout out some people who I think deserve shout outs. So, number one, my grade one teacher, Mrs. McDickin. Um, my mom, obviously, did everything for me ever. And then my buddy Ben texted me and said, Shout me out, please. Yeah! <laughs> there he is! I was gonna say, yeah. I'd also like to shout out the guy who says woo, because you got crazy energy, dude. You just woo it all over the place. But, uh, there he is! <laughs> uh, who else should I shout out here? We got a new puppy. Shout her out. Her name's, her name's Ivy. It could be Ellie. We haven't really decided yet, but, um, yeah. We were gonna do Holly. Yeah, but we, we, tried, we decided to stick with Ellie, but, yeah. I'm done stalling now. Let's hear it for the next act. As an education assistant at Crow, 
It's often our position involves working one-on-one -on -one with some of the most vulnerable children in the school district. It is an honour to share in their victories and to see their spirit shine through at school each day and to journey together with them. Sometimes when you work closely with a student who has multiple health issues, you have to let go and say goodbye. This year we were privileged to work closely with a student who passed away after a lifetime battle of facing daily medical challenges that the rest of us can only imagine. I only worked with this young man for a short period of time, but his spirit and sweetness impacted my life more than I can say. It seemed to me that his vulnerability brought out the best in the people around him. I wrote this song in his memory, and it is dedicated to all the students who are no longer with us, who faced insurmountable odds and remind us that life is precious and that every moment is a gift. It's called Remember Me. Seasons come, seasons change, love lasts forever, love remains, never let go, and don't forget, every moment is a gift.
have our very own Jail Crow staff performing the song and dance. Excuse me, staff. It'll be a brief stand-up staff meeting in the staff meeting and staff room right now, please. And all staff, please come down to the staff room for a brief stand-up staff meeting, please. Thank you.
Wow, we sure really have a group of talented teachers at our school. What do you guys think? I would like to call Dawson Zanna and Mamie Chan back to the stage to sing a duet together. The first song that we're going to sing is called Poor Wayfaring Stranger.
night. It's the best night of the year. There's a school I just love. Uh, before I present this evening's Golden Apple Award, I'd like to take a moment to thank some special people who've helped make tonight's show a success. And as, you, as I'm sitting back here watching all of our uh, amazing students work, it's, it's unbelievable. It's it just incredible. I want to recognize these guys tonight. First of all, though, from the theater, Norman Sierra from Enormous Productions. Thank you, Norman Sierra. Okay, from backstage, I want these guys to come out because they've done an unbelievable job. Eliza Dawson, Kyle Bartow, Michael Moon, Chelsea Piccolo, Martin Gonzalez. Come forward here, please. Come on. Tristan Jinjo, Brianna Haslam, and Emily Balfour. Come on forward, please. A huge help to our school, unbelievable Nadine Trombley from Charles Bailey Theatre. Come on, Nadine. She's awesome. Come on, and the guy, the student leader who put this whole show together, he's been a bag of, of nervous energy for the last, what, six weeks? Yeah. Uh, he's done an incredible job. Matthew McConaughey, come on, Matt. Yeah. And lastly, to all the students and staff who came out here tonight and just threw their heart and soul into tonight's performance. Way to go, guys. You guys can stay if you want. <laughs> and now to our Golden Apple Award. What do you guys want? <laughs> Just, I thought you guys were going to say, okay. We're in the show. For our Golden Apple Award of 2016, when people think about the actual job of teaching, most people will think about lectures, lessons, tests, report cards, grading, <laughs> curriculum. But I think that for all of us that teach, become teachers, we understand that the hidden curriculum is one of the most important elements of our job. Teaching how to treat people with respect, modeling manners and behavior, teaching leadership, compassion, and understanding. These are key principles that I believe we all try to demonstrate. And the teacher that we honor tonight is, is certainly one of those persons who always emulated all of those qualities every day of his life as his job. His students learned from him, they respected him, and they loved him. And this is because of his soft, polite voice, his fair and gentle manner, and his genuine interest in the people he taught. Please join me in honoring the 2016 Golden Apple Award winner, Mr. John McCassell.
Thank you very much. It's been an honor to keep working with children, students, the teachers. I'm touched. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thanks again, Mr. Newcastle. There's also a thousand much like the Indian sky, and they need to win these days. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming tonight. What a great show we've had tonight. We got one more act left for you guys. Let's hear it.